Hello and welcome to Shelter Mode, the premier YouTube channel for shipping container living. We've been receiving requests from some of our subscribers to design more multi-level housing units using shipping containers. We present to you a shipping container apartment block designed using 27 shipping containers. Stay tuned to find out more about this modern apartment design. Design concept. This modern shipping container apartment block is formed by combining two two-bedroom housing units, each designed using three 20-foot shipping containers. In addition, there is a three-bedroom housing unit designed from three 40-foot shipping containers joined together with two staircase shafts to form an L-shaped floor plan. This video will highlight the design brief of each typology. We will also bring to you 3D floor plans of each of those housing units. You will also have full color pictures of the exterior and the interior designs with finishes options. Foundation design. Use a raised foundation level to elevate the containers away from moisture. Since this is a storied building, you are advised to consult a structural engineer on the appropriate foundation design to use. This house is designed with a rough foundation and you can also watch our previous video on five foundation types you can use on any shipping container house for more understanding. Structure and modification. This modern shipping container apartment block is formed by combining two two-bedroom housing units plus a three-bedroom housing unit with two staircase shafts with direct access to each unit. In this particular case, the two-bedroom units in beige and yellow colors and the three-bedroom unit is in a shade of gray. Otherwise, feel free to explore a color of your choice depending on what is your preference. The containers in this design are stacked three stories high to create a total of nine housing units distributed on two wings in an L-shaped layout. Let's look at the two-bedroom typology. The two-bedroom block has got three 20-foot containers placed in parallel to each other forming a compact housing unit of 480 square feet of habitable space. What are the salient features we've managed to accommodate in this two-bedroom apartment block? When you get to either of the two-bedroom apartment units, you'll find a small cozy lounge space which can fit a sofa bed to make the space more functional. We also have a small kitchen on one end which is basically a single walled kitchen that is fully equipped with all the appliances you need to make the space functional. There's also adequate cabinet storage both overhead and under the counter to give you all the storage that you require. In between the kitchen and the lounge space we have a small dining table that can sit up to six depending on your configuration. The private part of the house has got two bedrooms. There is a master bedroom facing the front of the house and there is a second bedroom facing the side of the house. There is a big bathroom that is shared and the bathroom is also fully equipped with all that is necessary to make it functional. There are two outdoor spaces in this two-bedroom apartment block. There is a balcony that has been created using the original container cargo doors fitted with full-height sliding glass doors 
from the lounge space and a master bedroom respectively. On the opposite side, we have the three bedroom typology. The three bedroom housing unit is designed using three 40 foot shipping containers placed in parallel to each other to create 960 square feet of habitable space. What are the salient features we've managed to accommodate in this three bedroom typology? So as usual, you access each of these units from the staircase lobby, which is also well ventilated and well lit. Once you get into the housing unit, you first of all step into the living space. This is a big open plan living room with a spacious lounge space. There is a single wall kitchen on the extreme end of the living space also with adequate cabinet storage both overhead and under the counter plus all the necessary appliances to make this space functional. There is a dining table in the middle and you can fit it with a sizable dining table depending on your needs and family size. Next to the kitchen there is a small laundry space and it is fitted with a dryer and a washer and a small sink space. The private section of the house comprises three bedrooms. There is our guest bedroom, we have a children's bedroom and we have the master bedroom. The two bedrooms share a common bathroom which is next to the laundry space and the master bedroom is ensuite. There is a walk-in closet right behind the master bed and there is a big master bathroom with a glass shower cubicle. So having looked at those two typologies, when it comes to insulation and temperature control, you are advised to use an insulation material that respects the climate where you intend to build. Don't go with the cliche of using a particular material just because it's what everyone else is using. On the outdoors and exterior design, in this particular case, we've retained the original container cargo doors on all the shipping containers to create nice Juliet balconies, which are accessible from the main spaces in each typology. For the two bedroom units, we have an outdoor balcony from the master bedroom and the living room. And from the three bedroom unit, we have a big exposure of the living space fitted with three full height sliding glass doors accessing the Juliet balconies facing the garden. On the exterior design, what we did is to deliberately leave the shipping container walls exposed because we are looking at a cost effective or what I would call a low cost approach whereby you minimize on the cost as much as possible. So from outside you can clearly recognize the corrugated container walls throughout the exterior. This also the use of the original container cargo doors to create Juliet balconies and then on the two bedroom housing units some of the container cargo doors have been closed permanently because of the functions or the spaces accommodated therein. All the shipping containers have been given an additional cover on top in form of a roof to shield them from weather elements. You can go as high as you wish depending on your needs and also on the advice of your structural engineer plus the nature of the sub base or the ground where you intend to build. So we hope you like this design. If you have any suggestions or you have a particular design that you would want us to cover in our upcoming videos, kindly give us your opinion by posting it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next video.
if you are looking for modern floor plans for container homes, a weekly update on case studies for most influential shipping container homes from around the world, plus detailed articles from our building guide for shipping container homes, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more weekly videos. Check out our website sheltermod.com for lots of free resources, modern floor plans, and blueprints. If you like our videos plus our valuable content on shipping container living, feel free to support our channel on Patreon through the link in the description below.